Now for this next part, we've got to state the minimum number of visits required to obtain a significant result. In other words, we've got to find this critical value here, R, as I mentioned in the previous part. And we could have done the previous part by working out what the critical value was anyway. So it gives us an opportunity through this part of the question to demonstrate that as well. And so we're going to go for this first condition to get R. We reject HO if the probability of X being greater than or equal to this critical value R, given that HO is true, that is lambda equals 7, the mean is 7, turns out to be less than or equal to the 10% or 0 0.1, our significance level here. So if we write this out then, we can start by saying the probability that X is greater than or equal to R, given that HO is true, that is that the mean lambda equals 7, is less than or equal to 0 0.1. Okay? Now working out the probability that x is greater than or equal to a particular value is exactly the same as doing 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to r minus 1, given that HO is true, given that lambda equals 7. That's going to be less than or equal to 10% or 0 0.1. This value r minus 1, just take a number like r was say 15 for instance, just to appreciate this. Probability x is greater than or equal to 15 would be exactly the same as 1 minus probability x is less than or equal to 14. So that's why we subtract the 1 then from your r. Now if we've got this equation, then if we make this the subject, by adding it to both sides and taking 0 0.1 from both sides, we'd have 1 minus 0 0.1, which is 0 0.9, must be less than or equal to this probability. In other words, this probability, x is less than or equal to r minus 1, given that lambda equals 7, must be greater than or equal to 90% or 0.9 or even 0.90. Now this puts us in touch with the tables, the cumulative Poisson tables. So if we look at the tables now, we need to look at under 7 where lambda equals 7 and look at our probabilities and look for a value that is greater than or equal to 0 0.90. Now 9 we saw previously was 0 0.8305 so that's going to be no good to us. If you look under 10 you'll see that you've got 0 0.9015 and if you look under 11 you've got 0 0.9467 and it carries on after that. So the value that we are, are interested in is this value of 10 because it's the first value that exceeds 0 0.90 okay with this probability so we can say that therefore from tables r minus 1 okay must be the 10 so it follows from this that if we have 1 to both sides r must equal 11. That critical value is 11. So if we had used this method for the first part, we would have seen that our critical value is 11, our cutoff point here. Let's just mark it in now as 11. 10 would have been less than 11 in this acceptable region. So we could say, if we were doing it this way, that there was no evidence to reject HO because our observed value 10 was less than the critical value of 11. So for this question though we've got to state the minimum number of visits required. Well it's going to be 11. 
All right, so let's just wind that up by saying that therefore the minimum, we'll just say min, number of visits, okay, to obtain a significant result, to obtain a significant result, to obtain, sorry, <laughs> to obtain a significant result has to be equal to 11. And there you go. That's how I would do it.